boys and girls, welcome to our fabulous kitchen. In this kitchen, we love to dance, we love to cook, and we love to clean. First things first. Mm, Chef Nomsa, are you cooking something? Everybody duck! Oh no, I made a big mistake. I put something I shouldn't have in the microwave and everything went kaboom. Now my kitchen is a mess. Don't worry, Chef Nomsa. The boys and girls and I can help you clean all of this up. Come on, boys and girls, raise your hands like this. Hold up your pretend cloths and let's start cleaning like this. Are you ready, boys and girls? Let's go! Wow! My kitchen is clean again. Thank you so much, Tembega. Thank you, boys and girls. I can now see all good things in this kitchen and say thank you, God, for everything good. Pangan, do you remember what our lesson was about last week? Last week, we learned that God is good and everything good and perfect comes from Him. And that's what our Bible memory verse for the month reminds us. Let's say it together. Give thanks. Give thanks. To the Lord. To the Lord. For He is good. For He is good. Psalm 107. Psalm 107. Verse 1. Verse 1. You got it. And now it's time for my favorite time of all. Story time! Our story begins in a time where God's people, the great, 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 great grandchildren of Abraham and Joseph, did not love God with all their hearts anymore. Oh no, why not? Well, they had their minds on other gods that aren't real and believed these false gods to be true. But even then, God loved his people. He had a plan to remind them that he is the only one true God. So he sent a man called Elijah to talk to the leader of Israel. Who did God send, boys and girls? Elijah! Yes. God told Elijah to say this to the leader of God's people. I serve the Lord, the God of Israel. As surely as the Lord lives, I tell you the truth. No rain or dew will fall during the next few years unless I command it. No rain? Yep. God knew that his people thought that the God who wasn't real had power over the sky, over the rain and snow, over the sun, the wind, and the cold. But we know that isn't true, don't we? Yes! yes! Because we know that God make everything. God make the sky, the rain, all the water in the world, and He make every good thing that we see, feel, hear, smell, touch, or even taste. Every good and perfect thing comes from God. Exactly. So for the next few years, there would be no rain. So God could win the hearts of his people back. But the leader of Israel did not like what Elijah said. So Elijah had to leave that place and hide. Quick everyone, let's hide. from all the hiding. Did Elijah have anything to eat while he was hiding? Yes, yes he did. God knew that Elijah would need something to eat 
and water to drink. So he said to Elijah, The place where you are going is close to a river. You may drink from it. And I have told the ravens to bring you food. Ravens brought Elijah food? Boys and girls, ravens are a special kind of bird that looks like this. Yes, the Bible tells us that the birds brought Elijah bread and meat every morning and every evening. You see, just like God sent ravens to Elijah, God makes plans for our tummies too. Can you show me where your tummy is, boys and girls? <laughs> yes, every time we have food to eat, we can say thank you, God, for the food we eat. Let's say that together right now, friends. Thank, thank you, God, God for, for the food, food we eat. eat. Wonderful. Will you pray for us, please, Chef Nomsa? It would be a pleasure. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Father God, thank you for the story of Elijah. Thank you for teaching us that you are good and that we can say thank you, God, for the food we eat, the clothes we wear, and every good gift, because every good gift comes from you. We love you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, I think that's one of the best stories ever. God fed Elijah through birds. He told the birds to give Elijah some bread and meat in the morning and in the evening. Yo, God is good. Yes, he is. Chef Nomsa Bangani, have you ever felt so hungry and wondered when you'd finally get to eat? Then maybe your mom and your dad or your sister or your friend gave you some food? Well, now we know where all the food we get comes from. It comes from our good God who already knows what we need. Just like he knew that Elijah would need food to eat and water to drink. We can thank God for everything good. And we can thank God because God is good. Who is good, Bangani? God is good! You got it. Let's praise God with the song and a dance because He is good. Salani Gashle Bangani. Bye! God is good all the time.